That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. History is about to repeat itself. Over the past seven decades, the nation's best minds in aviation have designed, built, and flown a series of experimental airplanes to test the latest imaginative and cutting edge ideas related to flight. Short wings, long wings, delta shaped wings, forward swept wings, scissor wings, big tails, no tails, high speed, low speed. Individually, each of these pioneering aircraft has its own story of triumph and setback. Together, they are known as X-Planes. Each of those X-Planes has an interesting story all of its own. They've all made an incredible contribution to our understanding of flight, and X-Planes are really cool. On October 14, 1947, Air Force Captain Chuck Yeager climbed into the bright orange, glamorous Glenis and flew the X-1 into its moment in history. The Bell X-1 was the first plane to fly faster than the speed of sound, thus breaking the sound barrier. Perhaps of all the X-planes NASA has been associated with, None was more cutting edge and became more famous than the X-15 rocket plane. The X-1, it's the most famous because it was the first to go supersonic. But the X-15, it was the most productive of our X-plane programs. Flown between 1959 and 1968, the winged X-15 reached beyond the edge of space at hypersonic speeds. Trailblazing design concepts that contributed to the development of the Mercury, Gemini, and Apollo piloted spaceflight programs. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. History is about to repeat itself again, and humans will take another giant leap. NASA is building a new generation of X planes. The first all electric aircraft, the X 57, will increase fuel efficiency significantly reduce carbon emissions, and reduce unwanted noises. The newest X-Plane, the X-59, will be an aircraft that flies at supersonic speed. But instead of creating the annoying sonic boom, creates a quiet sonic thump. The X-59 aircraft is an exciting addition to a long history of X airplanes, including the X-1 and the X-15. NASA is working with Lockheed Martin to design, build, and flight test the X-59 aircraft. It's going to be about 97 feet long, fly at a Mach number of about 1.42, which is roughly around 900 miles an hour. It's got a long nose, engine on top, highly swept wings, and a very carefully shaped fuselage to enable that low boom flight that we require for this airplane. There's really three phases on the low boom flight demonstration mission. The first one is we need to make sure that the airplane is safe to fly and to fly in the United States airspace system at about 55,000 feet. Second of all, we need to do validation flights to show that the airplane can fly in a variety of flight conditions and atmospheric conditions. And then the third phase is really this community response data where we go out and get the data and provide this data to regulatory agencies such as the FAA so that they can lift the ban on commercial supersonic flight. The success of the X-59 could be the next giant leap for mankind here on Earth. This means one day in the not too distant future, you may be flying on a supersonic commercial flight over land, getting where you need to go in half the time. How cool is that? Remember, NASA is with you when you fly.